My life before Reconcile, besides graduating high school, I hadn't really accomplished a lot. I had moved back to New Orleans after Katrina. I was without a job for like a few months. And so it was me and my friend, one of my good friends who I grew up with, and this homeless guy came up to us and he just was like, you guys need to do something with your lives, you know, you ain't really doing much. So he told us about Cafe Reconcile. I went through a program, at the time it was eight weeks. After I graduated to that, I got an internship at Cafe Adelie at a Lowe's Hotel. While I was there, um, Dave Eamon at Reconcile recommended me for the Chef's Move John Best Scholarship. I was chosen one of two to go to New York. I went nine months at uh, the International Culinary Center. While I was in New York, I was chosen one of five best chefs under 25. So next for me will be going to Italy and taking classes at Alma. I'm just like every one of the people that came through these doors. I came here looking for a job. You know, I came here looking to pretty much just try and get ahead in life. Reconcile does rebuild lives and, and they impact lives, you know, it's, but ultimately it's up to the person. I really want something in life now. You know, I really want to become a sous chef one day and an executive chef and own my own restaurant. It's life changing. I mean, it, it changes the students' lives. It'll change, I'm sure it changed the instructors' lives it changes your life, you know, because you really are helping people that don't have much or that want to get better in life, and you're helping them succeed. So, you know, be a part of it. If you open the door just a little bit, you know, it's up to us to kind of just kick it open.